If you've been waiting to get your hands on a Retina iMac smaller than 27 inches, your wait is finally over. On Tuesday morning, Apple announced that their iMacs would now come in colossal and ginormous sizes, with colossal being 21.5 inches, I guess. But we want to see what else has changed, so we're going to tear it down. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and today we're tearing down Apple's brand new 21.5 inch iMac with Retina 4K display. Not much has changed on the outside of this updated iMac, and the size and weight are the same as the previous version. This iMac still measures in at 45 centimeters high, 52.8 centimeters wide, has a stand depth of 17.5 centimeters, and a weight of 5.68 kilograms. Getting into our iMac was a breeze with the help of our iMac service wedge and our iMac opening tool. While the iMac service wedge holds the display in place, we use the opening tool to cut away the adhesive holding the display on. This 21.5 inch Retina 4K display has a resolution of 4096 by 2304 and it looks like it's been manufactured by LG. On the back of the display, we find a shiny metal cover that when removed revealed some of the secrets of the new Retina display. On the board, we find a Texas Instruments programmable LCD bias, a synchronous step-down Swift converter, and a Parade Technologies LCD timing controller, among other chips. With the display out of the way, we took a look around for something new inside the new iMac. Hard drive? Old. Fan? Nope, still the same. Speakers? Also the same. It seems that if we want to see something new, we're gonna have to take a look at the logic board. Before we got to the logic board, we noticed that Apple has returned to their habit of not including their SSD connector on iMacs that don't ship with flash storage or fusion drive. This puts to rest any dreams you might have of upgrading your iMac with an SSD at a later point. On the logic board, we found the Intel Core i5 3.1 GHz processor that has the Intel Iris Pro Graphics 6200 integrated and 8 GB of Samsung-made LPDDR3 SD RAM. If you'd like to see the full list of chips we've identified, head over to ifixit.com and check out the full teardown. We've come to the end of our teardown, which means it's time to talk repairability. At iFixit, it's our mission to teach people how to repair everything, so we give every gadget we tear down a repairability score between 1 and 10. 10 being the easiest to repair and one being the most difficult. The 21.5 inch iMac with Retina 4K display got a one out of 10, and here's why. Cutting the tape to open the iMac isn't too hard with the right tools, but it must then be replaced to complete any repair. The RAM is still soldered to the logic board, so you're stuck with what you bought. The fusion drive connector is missing from the logic board, killing all hope of storage hacking. The CPU is soldered to the logic board and cannot be replaced or upgraded. And finally, the glass and the retina display are fused together, increasing the cost of replacement. And that's our teardown. To check out the complete teardown, including tons of beautiful, high quality images, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos. You can follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.